Hi friends, welcome to another Preschool at Home video. Let's start with our song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're here today. Hooray! I'm glad you're here today friends. We're going to do some more uh, winter activities. We're going to read a book called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. It's one of my absolute favorite books. We're going to do a craft project where we paint a winter hat and I thought we'd sing the Five Little Snowmen song again. It's such a fun one to sing. All right, let's start with our book. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. The Snowy Day. There's Peter sliding down a hill. Doesn't that look like fun? One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like this. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. And there he goes walking off, leaving tracks in the snow again. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made snow angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went home to his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Do you have a guess what happened to that snowball? Look at his pocket. Does it look wet? I think the snowball melted. While he dreamed, while he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. Look how happy he is. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Snowflake. What a great book. Peter has such a fun time in the snow. 
So today I thought we'd do a winter hat, and I actually found a, um, a template that you could print out at home. I'll put the link um, underneath the, um, the video on Facebook. Or you can just draw a winter hat or have a grown-up draw a winter hat. So you'll need um, a winter hat, a white crayon, and then some blue, either um, watercolors or I don't have watercolor paint at home, so what I did was get some blue food color and added some water until it was um, mixed the right, a little bit of water and a little bit of paint and a paintbrush. So the first thing you're going to do is take your white crayon and draw on your hat. Now you won't see what you're drawing. You're going to draw some lines and some patterns and then when you paint over what you've drawn with your crayon will show up. So let me see if I can turn sideways and you can see me draw. I'm going to make some circles up here and then I'm going to make some lines. If I look really carefully, I can see where my crayon is. I'm going to make some diagonal lines this way and some lines back this way. And then at the bottom, whoops, I'm going to do some up and down lines. And color a little bit inside some of them. All right. So, oh, you can see a little bit, just a little bit. Now I'm going to take my blue watercolor paint and my paintbrush, and I'm going to paint lightly over top of my hat, back and forth. Look! Everywhere I have crayon stays white. The paint sticks to the paper, but it resists, the crayon resists it. all the way across, all the way across. You can move the drippy paint around a little bit. And I want to paint all the way to the edges because once it's dry, I can cut out my hat. Look at that! I drew patterns all over my hat and then I painted over and now I have a blue and white hat with pretty designs on it. So I'll let that dry and when it's dry, I'll cut out around the edge. If you have yarn and you want to make a pom-pom on top, you can do that. I decided not to. I just like it the way it is. So there you go. There's your winter hat project for today. I hope you do it. I hope you have some fun. All right, let's do our five little snowmen fat song. Ready? Catch your five little snowmen. And remember, it's five little snowmen fat, each with a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What is that? Did we go? Ready? Five little snowmen fat, each with a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What a sad thing was that. Down, down, down. Four little snowmen fat, each with a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What a sad thing was that. Down, down, down. Three little snowmen fat, each with a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What a sad thing was that. Down, down, down. Two little snowmen fat, each with a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What a sad thing was that. Down, down, down. One little snowman fat, he had a funny hat. Out came the sun and melted one. What a sad thing was that. Down, down, down. Well, friends, that's the end of our preschool at home video for today. We read our book, we did our project, and we sang our song. So I'll see you back tomorrow when we'll talk about the letter L. Should be fun. Let's close with our goodbye song. Ready? Goodbye, 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 my friends to you. God bless you everywhere you go in all you say and do. Bye, friends.